Hey, Johannes here. In this video we will go over an insane gold farm that was under the radar when Classic WoW first came out. Since Season of Mastery is coming out soon, I thought I'd make you guys aware of it, and if you do this at the start, you will also help your guild. Keep watching to know why and what to do with the materials. Let's dive into the video. While doing this farm you will make decent gold in a fresh economy which is great so you can make investments with this gold in Season of Mastery. Or you can get your epic mount with it, which is expensive, it's like 1k gold or even the 60% one which is 100 gold. The spot is in Silithus, and on a PvP server you might get some competition so prepare to fight sometimes for mobs there. On a PvE server you gotta be fast with the tag. Here's some amazing gameplay of me doing it on my old fire mage in classic era. Yes, I took the time and went back for the video to record footage of it. I was in fire spec with almost zero keybinds, but I was in full biz next gear, so it was easy anyway. The farm spot is in Silithus, at the edge where the Thunder Fury spot is, in Season of Mastery, called the Crystal Vale. There are desert rumblers mobs around here that drop a few things. One is Elemental Earth. Because if you invest into at the start for 30 silver, it will eventually be costing around 1 to 5 gold. The other is Essence of Earth. It is a low drop rate, but decent enough. This one is very important at the start, and I'll tell you why. These are used for all kinds of stuff, let's talk about which. Bisnix Aquara Scope. This is bis for hunters in Season of Mastery and very expensive to make. It needs two of them. Force Reactive Disc. It needs 8 of them. This shield will be widely used for tanks with engineering in high mob situations, for example, Blackwing Lair when you get to the whelps just before Broadlord. Stronghold Gauntlets. These are decent for PvP, as you won't be able to get disarmed. You can also farm gloves in Strathform and Death called Death Grips. These are also great to have if you plan to hard reserve Righteous Orbs in Season of Mastery, as you will not get disarmed by the mobs. They tend to do that a lot. I have done over 100 runs there in Classic WoW. My best orb run was 6 in one run, and my average drop rate is usually 2. Back to Essence of Earth in Season of Mastery. Thorium Shield Spike. It needs two of them, and these are quite wild. Many people want these, like AoE farming paladins and some warriors. It counted towards the buff cap before, so many didn't use it. Now that world buffs are gone in Season of Mastery, these might get even more in demand. When a person had 32 buffs on them, and a druid would put a hot on you, you would go to 33 buffs. When this happens, the most recent one is removed, which was most likely a world buff. This is why people didn't use the Torium Shield Spike. Considering crafting Torium Shield Spikes for fees or profits through Auction House in Season of Mastery. Next one, Molten Belt. This can be interesting for feral tanks as resistance gear is going to be important and it requires 6 of them. They are also used for titanic leggings, but these don't come out for a while. I think it was phase 5 or 6, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. When they are about to release, buy up all the essence of earth for cheap in Season of Mastery, just before the phase launches and make a ton of gold when someone finally gets the pattern. This item is bis for fury warriors, so everyone will try to get it. Try to be the only one selling Essence of Earth then. Then on to the most important one for Essence of Earth in Season of Mastery. Rope of the Archmage. It is considered pre-bis slash bis for mages in phase 1 and mages will be leveling tailoring just to craft these ropes. The Essence of Earth were selling between 8 and 15 gold at the start and it took a while for them to drop because of this rope. More and more will get the pattern with time and so keep farming till you have enough gold for your mount in Season of Mastery. It drops in a lower Blackrock Spire from the mob called Firebrand Pyromancer. It is the same mob that drops the Greater Fire Protection recipe. The Greater Fire recipe is a great one to learn in Season of Mastery so you can craft the Greater Fire Protection pots. The pattern usually goes for 50 to 100 gold at the start. So at 50 gold, buy them whenever you can, then use them or resell them at the start, not later on. The price might be even higher now with people needing greater fire pots even more and rates coming out earlier in Season of Mastery. If you want to learn how to find the best guild for you, download our free ebook. It goes into detail what to look out for and what matches well with you so you don't waste any time being in the wrong guild. The link is in the description. Let's get back to the farm. 
When there is downtime on the mob spawns, what you can do is also kill Dust Stormers in Season of Mastery. These have a chance to drop Essence of Air, which is used for quite a few things, and those are the following. Shifting Cloak, a decent tank ape, this pattern releases in Phase 2 of Dire Maul. Again, Force Reactive Dist, just like the Essence of Earth. Robe of the Archmage, the pre bis slash bis cape for mages to have. For enchants in Season of Mastery, it is used here. Enchant Super Agility Gloves, this comes out when AQ40 launches, and is bis for hunters, ferals, rogues, and even warriors have used them. Enchant Two-Hander Weapon Agility, this comes out in Phase 5, and is used for two-hander hunters. Enchant Weapon Agility, this is for a one-hander, and this comes out in Phase 3. It is bis for hunters and some rogues. Every hunter will need two of these on their weapon. Enchant Weapon Icy Chill. This is used as a cool skin as it makes your sword glow, but I remember in AQ40 it was also used against Visitus. It was not sure if they did anything though, maybe any one of you knows, drop it in the comments. Enchant Weapon Spell Power. Well this one is Biss for a long time, so expect to enchant this a lot in Season of Mastery. I have a good gold make video coming out about enchanting soon, for Season of Mastery, so make sure to subscribe for that one. So I know what you're thinking, Johannes. When do we sell Essence of Air and Essence of Earth in Season of Mastery? You have two options. You can farm them and hold them till Phase 3 comes, when a lot of rogues and all the hunters start using the agility enchant on their weapons. I remember these went for 25 to 30 gold back then, each. You can also sell these right away for usually around 5 to 15 gold. It is your call. This will be a decent investment to hold on to, unlike the Essence of Earth, which you want to dump right away in Season of Mastery. The reason you want to dump the Essence of Earth right away is because Season of Mastery has fast phases, so as soon as the general player base has leveled their tailoring to 300 and gotten the 60, then Blackwing Lair might be around the corner with tier 2 gear and those are great for mage AoE farmings. Before we go to how your guild benefits from this, I'm trying to reach a 1k subscriber milestone with Season of Mastery videos and put out one video every Thursdays and sometimes extras. As you can see most of my watches are not subbed, which breaks my gold farming heart as I love making content for you guys about Season of Mastery. You can also help get the video reach more players by liking, commenting, and it helps the algorithm push this to more people for Season of Mastery. Guild Benefits So I'm sure you're thinking, how will my guild benefit from this in Season of Mastery, Johannes? When you kill these mobs, you actually get reputation with the Hydraction Waterlords. This reputation is used for Molten Core in Season of Mastery. But how, Johannes? When you get to 100, you are able to talk to the water elemental in Ashara. He is located here. He will give you the quest Hand of the Enemy, and you will have to kill Lucifron, Gehennes, Shasra, and Sulfron. Once you have the hands of each of these bosses in Molten Core, in Season of Mastery, the Quintessence can be picked up by the Waterlord on the island, the one who also gave you the earlier quest in the chain. You will have to go back there weekly to retake the Quintessence as it's unique. So it's best that many in your guild have the ability to get it, as let's face it, sometimes people are lazy. These douses or quintessence are used in Molten Core under all bosses, except Major Domo, Ragnaros and Baron Geddon. This means you need 7 every week. After you use the 7, Major Domo and Ragnaros get unlocked and you're able to kill them. I have heard news in Season of Mastery that Ragnaros is actually despawning after an hour. So be quick in killing both after you've used your last dows. So as you can see, it is highly important you motivate players in your guild to farm this as well. In my own guild this season of mastery, we are giving a decent reward for this. If interested in joining, click the discord link below and fill in the apply form. Keep in mind we are on Europe and going on a PvE realm. Thank you for watching. Check out this video if you should brawl on a PvE or PvP server, or check out my other content. Hit that bell to get a notification when my next season of mastery video goes live. Have a good one.